start by disconnecting the wiring to the damper that we're replacing. And it is zone two. So depress the little orange thingy and it pops loose. No more power on that zone damper. If the system decides to come on, come over here, pull the cover off, and remove the wires. And now we can take the damper loose. So the issue with this particular damper is that when the damper is closed, the motor stays on constantly. And when we condemned this damper motor, it was extremely hot. It was overheating because it stayed on constantly. What we are replacing it with is a newer design and it is power open and power closed. The previous damper was spring open and power closed and when this damper powers open once it has reached the open fully open position the motor stops running and the damper sits in place. Um, and then when it reaches the fully closed position, the motor stops running and stays in one place. So, to get away from burning out the motor, we've decided to install a power open, power closed damper.
Okay. So now that we've got this, we uh, just need to wire it. And I'm hoping that this will work because I don't want to look like an idiot. Where did my screwdriver go? I probably knocked it into the dirt. There it is. But we've only got, oh look, we do have a third wire, but it is a bare wire. So we're going to go power open, power closed with black for power closed and red for power open. So that when it needs to open, power will come on red. When it needs to close, power will come on black. And then we'll go back to the zone board and go power closed on black. Power open on red. Now we do need another wire to complete those circuits. We need a additional circuit. We need an additional circuit. So we've got a length of Two wire and we're going to take white to the common on the new damper and tie that in with the common on the other damper in close proximity. As soon as we tie that in, we know it's working because we see our red light. Now, when the red light is on, it means that it is closed completely. And then if you see a green light below it, it is fully open. Now, what we could do just to test it now is take the power closed wire and the power open wire and switch them. When we put the wire opposite We see the damper moving, greenlit, when it is fully open. And there's no motor running, there's no way for this damper to overheat unless it were to bind up in the process of moving for whatever reason. So we'll go ahead and switch it back and then uh, confirm that when the thermostat calls, the damper opens. This XCI Smart Zone damper, um, the part number tells you what it is. It is a POC power open close 10, which is a 10 inch damper. A lot of other brands, the names don't always tell you 
as plainly what the damper is. I like the way that they do these. This is sold by a company called Comfort Solutions and they are based out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Fantastic products, fantastic customer service. Uh, if you order a component and it's in stock, you will have it the next day. Um, they will next day your components and they still have motors and components for a lot of the old stuff which was uh, Zonex um, and other brands uh, or other names that the brand went by so that's the basics of a XCI Smart Zone POC damper. You could obviously run a three wire from the zone board, but uh, your common um, does not necessarily have to be run back to the board. Another little snippet of information here is that this zone board is actually the only zone board in the country that, or does not need to have an outdoor thermostat installed on heat pump applications for the energy conservation code. If your heat pump is unable to attain 90 degrees within five minutes, I think it is, the auxiliary heat will come in. But if your heat pump can attain 90 degrees or more within five minutes, the auxiliary heat will not come on. Also, your zone one thermostat, you'll notice, has got a W terminal here. But if we move down to zone two, you'll notice that the W terminal is not connected. They recommend that if you have a secondary smaller zone, you do not have emergency heat available on that smaller zone, especially if you're not equally sized between the two zones. This board will do anything, gas, electric, heat pump, dual fuel, it'll allow you to stage lock out and set up for reversing valve at the thermostat. You can actually use gas furnace thermostats on this zone board similarly to some of the old carrier zones where you actually had to use gas furnace thermostats and a heat pump thermostat would not even work but this one you do have the choice of selecting what type of thermostat you want to use. Makes it convenient for the customer.